Lord is great and greatly to be praised. The song is called Do You Know What It Means to Be a Christian? Amen. You're in tune to Exchange in Sin for Grace Deliverance Ministry, and I am your host and founder, Minister James Baptiste. We say a pleasant good night. Amen. To all of you in Radio Land, we say a pleasant good night to those who are new believers and those who are on their way to receiving Christ and those who are veterans in the things of God. We say good night to you. Amen. Special good night to Minister Straker and his wife. A special good night to my lovely and beautiful wife, Miss Marilyn Baptiste. Amen. And the members of Exchange in Sin for Grace Deliverance Ministry prayer line. That's at 8 p.m. every Sunday. 8 p.m. every Sunday. Exchange in Sin for Grace. We have launched our prayer line. And if you want to join us at any time, amen, the number is 712-770. 5232. That's Exchanging Sin for Grace prayer line every Sunday at 8 p.m. We open the phone line if, if, if you have a prayer need, a prayer request. If there is somebody that, by body that you know is struggling in an area, amen, you may not get them to come to church, but they'll probably pick up the phone and call and talk to somebody that won't be able to recognize them or doesn't know them. Sometimes people, when they're going through things, they don't like to be seen, but they like to be heard. Amen. So this is the place where you can call us at 8 p.m. tomorrow, that's Sunday at 8 p.m., 712-770-5232. Amen. And so the PIN is 251897. I'll say it again, 712-770-5232. And the PIN, 251897. That's Exchanging Sin for Grace prayer line amen or prayer line where we pray for people we have met so many people through the broadcast and that's why we say a special thanks again to minister straker amen there was a woman that we met on the broadcast as we we had we had a series called uh uh restoring uh family drama that's what it was called yes it was called uh family drama that's when we uh ministered around thanksgiving and we talked about uh restoring the relationship in the family not just to wait for the special occasions of the year to try to make things right but you make things right all throughout the year and so this lady called up and uh and she had some issues going on with a sister and some witchcraft in the house and we prayed for her we have never seen her but she's a part of our group amen we prophesied some things to has the lord let us amen she she had a desire to find a husband and and so we prayed for her and uh, she got married recently and uh you know uh she's doing well she's a part of our group we have never met her but God is doing great things through the ministry, and so we want to lift up his name for that. Amen. We want to give him uh, a loud praise because he's been great and he's been good to us continuously. Hallelujah. If you're out there tonight, amen, amen, and there is somebody beside you, you may want to ask them, are you saved? Amen. Amen. And if they say not, you say, well, what are you waiting for? Amen. Let me introduce you to Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Amen. So that's why the song is called, Do You Know What It Means to Be a Christian? And I want to give God thanks, amen, for giving me the opportunity to write and record this song. Amen. It just came into my spirit that the word Christianity, amen, seems to be uh, uh, being used lightly around. And people are saying that they are Christians and they are not adhering to the principles and to the precept of of god so the lord gave me the song gave me the word and i thank god for the musician that helped me put it together amen and so it's called do you know what it means to be a christian there are some very very important lyrics amen within the song if you listen to it you would recognize what it's saying amen so we give god thanks he come on the worship. somebody lift your hands and worship Jehovah the Lord is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be glorified. I feel like worshiping. I feel like praising Him. Do you know what it means to be a Christian? Many a call, few are chosen. Do you know what it means to be a Christian? Many a call. 
world you were chosen My shepherd and I shall not want He made me to lie down in green pasture He laid me down beside the still waters And yeah, he restored my soul I say, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow Of death I shall fear no evil For thou art with me now, thy rod and thy staff They comfort me Just prepare it a table before me In the presence of my enemy Though one night is my head now with oil and my cup run it over Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life Oh, glory, hallelujah Somebody lift up your hands up high and worship Jehovah Somebody lift up your hands up high and worship Jehovah Worship the kings of God Amen, it's a little... Amen. 914 in New York City. Amen. We say thank God for his grace and mercy. You're in tune to Exchange and Sin for Grace Deliverance Ministry. So we never start a broadcast without letting you know what is our mission statement. Maybe you're joining us for the first time. And so we want you to know that every ministry and every good ministry should have a mission statement. Clearly stating to people what is the what is the burden that the lord has given you and what is the goal of the ministry amen so this is our mission statement exchanging sin for grace deliverance ministry is dedicated to reaching and teaching people about god's delivering power especially those who have been afflicted by strongholds and generational curses in their lives while living with various addictions and lifestyle that are not in alignment with the will of god for their lives accepting inconsistencies stagnancies and being held captive by sin never being able to be who jesus christ called them to be amen so these are the people that the lord has commissioned us to reach and so we want to reach these people let them know regardless of whatever stronghold or whatever opposition may be in your life maybe it's drug addiction maybe it's alcohol addiction maybe it's homongering prostitution lying adultery fornication and i can go on and on but we want to let you know that you can be restored you can be healed you can be used in the kingdom of god as you come to give your life to the lord surrender and the spirit of the lord enters into you after you repent and surrender be baptized and be added into the body of christ get a good church or find a good bible teaching amen ministry where you can learn the word of god and apply godly principles and precepts god will not hold you to your past if you accept him as your lord and savior well it's been a, a very trying week amen there are some obstacles that came along the way amen i had to minister and worship and praise at a men's event today and so many things transpired amen i'm not complaining but at all to the glory and the honor of god at the uh, at the at the beginning of the event amen everything was in order the men just got together it's something when men get together to worship god amen we made a joyful noise unto the lord we lifted up the name of the lord we came to the lord naked and unashamed not putting on any pretense some men had issues and we came and we just laid before the lord and allowed him to work in our lives amen so i give god thanks i want to say to someone tonight amen if you've been called to ministry there will be obstacles especially when god is getting ready to use you amen in a tremendous way they're going to be obstacles that will rise up and real life obstacles not obstacles that you can see uh, uh, as little things there are going to be some things that you're going to face amen and so you have to push through amen regardless to the because the enemy's plan is is to rob god of his glory that was his intention from the very beginning amen to to exalt himself above god and to discourage you so i want to say tonight to someone be encouraged amen regardless to the situation